Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a Clumber Spaniel puppy or Clumber Spaniel adult dogs? They make great pets, great to have around. They're big, muscular dogs, gentle, known to be gentle and sweet, get along great with children and other pets. Make sure you give them chew toys because otherwise they're going to chew up your furniture. You need to exercise them daily and take him for a long walk daily because this is a big dog and he needs to be exercised sufficiently so you can have him in the apartment if you're interested in an apartment dwelling. If you're going to potty train them you may not know how to do that and this website that you're looking at right now is a resource for you to use to learn what you need to learn to get your Clumber Spaniel potty trained or work on the obedience training aspects and get some information about nutritional needs and other things of note. Did you just find another puddle in your house? Or did you walk into the living room and discover a pile of poop? Do you feel like you were spending all your time taking the dog outside or cleaning up messes in the, in the house? You're not alone, but you do not have to be in this situation. Your puppy or adult dog can be fully potty trained and you can be free of cleaning up accidents all the time. Puppies under six months of age are not fully developed and will have trouble being able to hold their urine and feces. However, if you learn to know exactly when they are likely to potty, you can anticipate their needs and get them out to a potty place at the right time. Does your dog always use the same area in the yard for his potty needs? If not, you may need to start over on training him where to potty. Put his leash on him when you take him out and always take him to the same area. Always use a word such as business as a buzzword to let him know what you want him to do. Stand still and hold the end of the leash so he cannot investigate the entire area, but is limited to a specific part. And do not let him play until he has pottied. Does your dog only have occasional accidents? First, make sure he does not have any health problems. A trip to your local vet may be in order. Then, try to understand when he has his accidents, 30 minutes after eating, while he is playing right after he gets up or is released from his crate, when greeting people, etc. Does your dog only mess when you leave him alone? Does he only do it in a certain room of the house? Does he mark your furniture? Learn what causes these behaviors and how to work with your puppy or adult dog to solve the problem. If you work and must leave your dog at home for long hours, you need to learn how to effectively crate train your dog as well as how to successfully potty train him so that he always eliminates in the appropriate place at the appropriate times. Remember, potty training, like all other types of dog training, involves positive reinforcement. Learn to deal with accidents appropriately without hitting or scolding your dog, making a big deal out of it. That's not going to work. Some breeds are easy to house train as they don't like for the living quarters to be messy or smelly, or they really like to please their owners. Other breeds are more difficult to house break. Others may take a special type of house breaking. However, with patience and persistence, your dog can be house trained. Some of the basics of potty training. It is important for your dog to have an established routine and for you to be consistent in your expectations of him. The easy way to look at the routine you need to establish is that any time there is a break during the day or a change of direction in your dog's day, take the dog to his potty place. Five keys to your success are when your dog gets up, take him to the potty place. Feed your dog on a regular schedule, which will eventually be twice a day, about 10 to 12 hours apart. After he eats or drinks anything, take him to the potty place. After your dog plays or exercises, take him to the potty place. Withhold water for two to four hours before your dog goes to bed. Just prior to going to bed, take him to the potty place. Now what I would like for you to do is to come to this website. I'm going to leave a link below the video. You're going to come here. You're going to scroll down. You're going to enter your name, your dog's name, and your email address. You click the subscribe link and they're going to send that free mini course directly to your inbox. It'll be full of information, strategies, and uh, health information about your new Clumber Spaniel puppy. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.